Welcome you all. In this session, let us see what are the different uh, protective schemes available for protection against overcurrent. So, overcurrent uh, protective schemes are widely used for the protection of uh, distribution lines. Say we consider a radial feeder. Okay, for example, we consider a radial feeder and uh, we sectionalize this feeder this one section two section three section so we have sectionalized it now for each section we need to have one circuit breaker okay say this is um, one location this is one location this is one more and this is one more so this is near the source end so this is D, this is C, this is B and this is A. So you have four sections. That means each section need to have one circuit breaker. So a radial feeder can have a circuit breaker in this pattern. Now how the circuit breaker should operate? Say suppose a fault occurs uh, beyond D. That is somewhere here if a fault occurs, then the circuit breaker at D has to trip. Okay, fault occurs at here, the circuit breaker at D has to trip. In case the circuit breaker at D fails to trip, if it fails to trip, then circuit breaker at C has to operate. Okay, that means circuit breaker C, circuit breaker at C operates as a backup protective scheme. Okay. Likewise, if a fault occurs anywhere uh, between C and D, then the circuit breaker at C will act as a primary circuit breaker. In case the circuit breaker at C uh, fails to operate, then the circuit breaker at B has to operate, which acts as a backup. So likewise, uh, the circuit breaker, the relay which is used has to identify in which location the fault is and accordingly that particular circuit breaker has to operate. So yes, what will happen is the remaining circuit breaker also will come into picture. And so for uh, that means to say the relay should have a proper selectivity. So to have a proper selectivity of the relays, uh, there are three protective schemes which can be used depending upon the system condition. So we will see one by one. So the first one is a time graded system. Time graded system means mm, we set a timing unit for each of the circuit breaker which is used. So for this time graded system the type of uh, relay which is used is definite time over current relay. Definite time over current relays are used wherever you need to have a time graded system. So what is definite time over current relay? The irrespective of the magnitude of the fault current, the circuit breaker will trip at the same time which you have set. Okay. So that is a definite time relay. So here uh, what is done is in this time graded system, the operating time of the relay is adjusted in the increasing order from the far end of the feeder. Say for example, um, I will take here um, the same example, I will take four sections. This is C, this is C, this is B and this is A. So you have four sections and a circuit breaker located at each of the four sections for the protection of that particular section. So the relay has to sense the fault and send a signal to the circuit breaker. Now what is done here? So this is this position, this position is the far end of the feeder. So in the increasing order from the far end of the feeder we have to set the time. 
So we will set the time that is this particular the circuit breaker at D will operate for 0.5 seconds. You give a gap of 0.5 again then this becomes 1 second this is 1.5 seconds this is 2 seconds. That means whenever a fault has occurred say a fault has occurred at this point that is beyond D after a span of time 0.5 seconds the circuit breaker at D will operate. Okay. So after 0.5 seconds the fault is cleared. In case the circuit breaker at D fails to trip then it will wait for another 0.5 seconds. That means only after 1 second the circuit breaker at C will trip. Say for example B, C, D all the circuit breakers has failed to operate. Then the fault will remain for 2 seconds and the circuit breaker will trip at 2 seconds which is at position A. So if a fault has occurred anywhere the nearby circuit breaker whichever is there it has to detect and it has to trip else it will cause damage to the entire feeder. So there is a disadvantage in this particular uh, time graded system. So what is that is say suppose a fault has occurred at this uh, point a fault has occurred at this point then it is the duty of circuit breaker A to trip but whether it will trip at 0.5 seconds no the circuit breaker at A will trip only after 2 seconds till 2 seconds the fault will be retained that means the, your entire uh, system is getting affected for that 2 seconds. So that is the main drawback of this particular uh, time graded system. So it takes the longest time in clearing the heaviest fault okay so which is not a desirable uh, feature. So this particular time graded system is used where the impedance, impedance means uh, we consider the distance okay impedance is nothing but the distance between the substations is low. So uh, practically if we consider the fault current is same for the entire feeder. Okay, so the scheme is used only where the distance between the substations is very small. Next is current graded system. So instead of setting the time in this type of system we set the current okay that is plug setting. So in a current graded system the relays are set to pick up at progressively higher values of the current which is towards the source. So the type of relay uh, used here is instantaneous instantaneous over current relays are being used and the operating point is same for all the circuit breakers okay it is not changed. So operating time is same for all the relays which is used all the relays which is used. So, so if, uh, we will take the same example so your um, time characteristics I will draw So time characteristics for this uh, relays which is used. Say suppose any fault has occurred um, between C and D. Okay. If a fault has occurred between C and D then the circuit breaker at C has to operate. Okay. But what will happen is uh, you observe the way I have uh, represented the fault it is near to D. Okay. So what will happen is D will also trip, D will also trip but the fault is not uh, beyond the location of D. Okay. So it is lying between C and D. So the relays which is used here will not be uh, able to identify whether the fault is very near to it or whether it is far away from it. So the same way. Uh, if 
a fault has occurred between A and B, the relate A has to trip, not the relate B. So uh, that means to say, uh, if we use an instantaneous overcurrent relay and a current graded system, almost only 80% of the um, section is being protected. Remaining 20% section is unprotected. So that is because uh, the relays which are there, we, it is not able to identify whether the location of the fault is very near to it or very far away from it. And uh, you uh, see when the fault occurs, you cannot decide what is the magnitude of the fault current and you cannot set it accordingly. That is one uh, condition. And another condition is there might be a transient condition which is occurring for a small duration, but it is not actually a fault. So in that case also if the relay operates, then uh, it is actually uh, a wrong uh, working of the system. That is why uh, along with the instantaneous um, relays, what we do is 80% of the protection is uh, given by this instantaneous relay, remaining 20% is provided along with IDMT relay. So along with instantaneous relay, you add an IDMT relay so that it protects the remaining uh, 20%. So in the IDMT characteristics is like this. So it protects the remaining 20% of the system. So the main advantage of this um, system compared to the time graded system is that the operating time is less near the power source. That is the operating time is less near the uh, power source that is at where your uh, circuit breaker at A is placed. So next we have uh, the combination of both um, current graded and time graded system. In this type, uh, mainly we use IDMT relays, okay, IDMT relays and this is mainly used to, to protect the distribution lines. So this particular scheme has the, has the feature of both time graded system and uh, current graded system. So the relays will be set at a progressively at a higher current level towards the source. The same way the time is also set in a progressively increasing order towards the source. And the operating time uh, between each circuit breakers, there is a gap or there is a margin of 0.5 seconds. Okay. Uh, so the current graded system is used uh, mainly where the impedance between the substation is sufficient enough to create a margin difference in the fault current. So uh, why we go for IDMT? I, IDMT relay is inverse definite minimum time over current relay. So inverse time characteristics is required where inverse time characteristics is required where the source impedance is small compared to the uh, load impedance. Okay, So this is required in such a case uh, that is especially for your uh, current graded system. So we can set the current, we can set the time so that the relay operates. So we can go for a time graded system or current graded system or the combination of both depending upon the application and we have to see that which type of relays has to be used under which application. So numericals of this uh, particular topic is in the next video. Thank you.